Hi, I'm Joe Sinchoa, head and neck cancer surgeon and reconstructive surgeon here at the University of California, Irvine. I'm here with my partner, Dr. Yara Haydar, and we're going over some commonly asked questions that we get from our patients. Dr. Haydar, a question I often get asked is, what does it mean that my throat cancer is HPV positive? That's a good question. I get that question all the time as well. So HPV is a virus that you were probably, um, that you're probably exposed to 20 or 30 years prior to your diagnosis of an HPV related or pharyngeal cancer. That virus is something that the majority of the population here in the United States has been exposed to. So we expect that about around 70% of the population was at one time exposed. Most people's immune system fights it off, but the unlucky few develop an oropharyngeal cancer. So the history of it is important because it helps you determine and realize what risk factors were associated with it. Certain risk factors are more likely to be associated with HPV or pharyngeal cancer, such as increased sexual activity or earlier exposure to sexual activity, in addition to smoking and alcohol use. Um, the other consideration is what does it mean now that I have an HPV related or pharyngeal cancer? And it's actually good news. And that's what I tell my patients all the time. HPV related or pharyngeal cancers have a very good prognosis with a high cure rate. Um, so it's a very treatable illness. There are multiple different ways that we treat HPV related or pharyngeal cancers. Here we have access to the newest robotic equipment and we're capable of performing transoral robotic or pharyngeal surgery. Both Dr. Choa and I are trained in transoral robotic surgery and have access to the SP Da Vinci robot, which is the newest equipment FDA approved for head and neck cancer treatment. So that makes me think of another common question we get asked is if it's a sexually transmitted disease and I have a cancer because of it, am I contagious? Can I give that to my partner? Once again, I get asked that question all the time as well. People, when they hear that it's a sexually transmitted infection, they, they cringe um, and they worry that, they're, that they're, they should change their behavior based off of this diagnosis. And what I tell patients is, is no, you don't need to. Because once again, most of the population has been at some point exposed to the human papillomavirus. And so you should not change your behavior based off of it, um, but um, just get your HPV related or pharyngeal cancer treated. Thank you, Dr. Hader, for providing that information. If you have a new diagnosis of an HPV related throat cancer, please feel free to call our clinic.